All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kurash, the bondage to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all that I can push this word with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son's name of the word and he calls Jesus and Racha Kurash is the Holy Spirit. And as always, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. As well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner that scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, their line, through their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what child appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm the brother Yadir from the Great Stone Branch in Chicago, and I'll back up another lesson. It's going to be entitled Look Forward, you see. And uh, this lesson is inspired by this video. One of the bros posted up, and um, spiritually it says, Don't look back. You're not going that way. And, um, you know, I was just, I was moved through the, the Holy Spirit to um, a, a just bring out a few precepts on it because hey, that's the mindset. We got to keep our eyes single. We got to continue to look forward. You see, looking forward to the kingdom of heaven. That should be the chief thing. A hey, appeasing the Lord. Um, a, 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 um, and seeking the Lord and his righteousness. Not looking back at the former things. Uh, Looking at back how things used to be, because if that's the mindset, um, you're going to be snared. You see, so we can start off right here. Um, Ecclesiastes 7 to 10. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. So you can't have the mindset of, oh, man, I remember back in the world or back in the day. I remember we used to do this. And, you know, because what, hey, what you think, you know, that, that will manifest if your heart is steady oh man how it used to be how it used to be rather than hey what's to come that's what the angels told Ezra, right if your mindset is focused on what what used to be you're gonna fall you got to be um as the scriptures say looking and hastening unto the things unto the kingdom of heaven second peter three um let me grab this inquire rather because uh rather thing to come you gotta um you gotta be hoping Hoping goes in the expectation. You got to be hoping in the kingdom of heaven. Hey, the righteousness to come. No more curses, the blessings. You got to put your heart in these prophecies. Second after 7 to 16. Why hast thou not considered in thy mind the thing that is to come? Right, the kingdom of heaven. A hey, rulership, thrones, dominions. If you have your eyes single on these, it's going to feel you to continue to keep going. It says, why hast thou not considered in thy mind the thing that is to come rather than that which is present? So you can't always... Just be in the moment thinking about now. You got to have that, that, that um, as it says in the book of Hebrews about our, our forefathers and those patriarchs, those righteous patriarchs. It says they looking afar off. They didn't just look at what their current situation was or what it used to be. They was looking at the ultimate, the, the, the end goal, the kingdom of heaven, hey, making it on the first go around. You see, so that's what we need to be um, worrying about, concerned about what our eyes should be singled on, not on the things of the past. <laughs> Philippians 3 and 17, but what things were gained to me, those I kind of lost for Mashiach. And they, they coming into this knowledge, things that you used to do or things that you used to know, it's all garbage compared to what you're finna know and what you're gonna get, right? It says, yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung. The Apostle Paul said, look, I got this knowledge. I lost all other things, but I don't even care about it. It's dung. It ain't shit to me. As long as I have this knowledge and hey, we have the true riches, true wisdom, the things that is actually desired. Right. It says, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach. I'm going to jump down to verse 13. It says, brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but there's one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are before. He said, look, brothers, I, I don't I, I don't I forget those things that are behind me. Things that happened in the past, experiences in the past, the good, some so-called good memories of the past. I forget those things. I let them go. Rather, I'm reaching forward to um, what's to come. The things that are before the kingdom of heaven, the righteousness of the Lord set up on earth, rulership, thrones, the scriptures, the promises. Right. It says, I press toward the mark for the high prize. It's like for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, you see? So hey, that's what we should be laboring for. That's where our mind should be focusing on, not the things of the past. You see? 
We got to have the mind of uh, of uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Second Peter 3 and 10, it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So if we know according to this word, just as Noah warned of the flood that was going to come, the flood of water surely came. Same thing is happening in our time, but the Lord is going to bring fire this time. And hey, all this shit is going to be burnt up. The houses, the cars, the clothes, the jewelry, the, 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 um, the drip, you know, the, the, the game, you know, the hoes, you know, all of it. If it's not um, if it's not of the Lord, it's going to be burnt up. Right. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Seeing that the Lord is going to um, take down the powers that be in this present evil world. The sub white man is eating my system that's ruling over the earth. Right, seeing that the Lord is going to do away with the fashion of this, of this, of this um, world, you know, the customs, the rudiments, you know, the, the um, following philosophy. The Lord is going to do away with all that. What manner of person are you going to be? How are you going to be conducting yourself? What are you going to be focused on? Are you going to be holding on to a perishing world, or are you going to be um, laboring for that one, which is eternal, the kingdom of heaven? It says, verse 12, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High. We're in the, and that's the point, looking for and hastening. Right? So not only are we looking at it, but we're laboring. You know, we try to eagerly labor to get there. We trying to hurry up and get there, right? It says, hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, Look for new heavens and a new earth where dwell of righteousness, right? We're looking toward, you know, the future. We're looking toward the uh, future prophecies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh come to pass. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So in order to um, accomplish that, we got to be um, striving to do what's right, not looking back, continuing on in, in, in this word that we've been taught, holding on to it. It says that um, this word, the engrafted word which is able to save your souls you see not not um wavering and looking back and no nah, we're not going that way matthew chapter 6 and 19 lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rough doff corrupt and where thieves break through and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doff corrupt right so hey, our treasure what we cherish what we value it's not on things of the earth so it's in the things that's in heaven, the righteousness of the heavenly father, the kingdom. So we lay up and hey, that, that can't be touched. Things in this world, if you put your trust in them, they're going to let you down. You got big crib and get broken into it. Got a nice car and get stolen. You got a girl, she can get taken, right? It says, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor, nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For your treasure is there where your heart be also. So whatever you cherish, you look forward to, that's what your mind is going to be on. Right? So if it's on the things of this world, you're going to be focused on the things of this world. But we already have insight through the scriptures that the things of this world are going to pass away. If it be things that's under the heavens, the heavenly uh, gifts, the wisdom, the knowledge, the uh, the will of the Father. Hey, hey that's, a, that's everlasting life that you're being led to. It says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Your mind's eye it needs to be focused on a, the, the kingdom. It says, but if thy eye be evil, thy body shall be full of darkness. We worry about the things of this world. Worry about the darkness of this world. That's what you're going to be um, turned to. It says, if therefore that, it's like, if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? You see, so we want to have our mind focused on these scriptures. The Lord, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. At all times, you see, Colossians 3 and 1, if ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, with Hamashiach sit upon the right hand of the Most High, you're a believer, you, you know, you in the faith, seek those things which are above. It says, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Hey, fuck this world. This world's going to get done away with. This world is corrupted. You got moles that's ruling this world. You got moles that got money in this world. You got the most abominable, filthiest people that's up in this world. Right. <laughs> it says, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth, for ye are dead and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the most high. When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, 
then shall ye also appear with him in glory. So we won't get our time to rule and reign and be glorified when Yahweh Shai returns. You see? And that's and, and we're suffice with that. You see? So hey, don't look back. You're not going that way, right? We're moving forward unto a greater glory. The Lord willing, this was an edifying, uh, exhorting, comforting lesson. Call her lame la. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kurash, the bond of the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. So he takes to all that I can push his word. True charity with charity. Shalom, Bragatun, Wakwam, Yashara, Babu, Ba.